welcome to M4 TV live in Australia. After a long eight hard months, we're finally back and better than ever. I am in the Melbourne city after 112 days of harsh lockdown and this is the view I get. How beautiful is that? Melbourne has never been this pretty. Before lockdown, we thought it was all gonna be dull and quiet and look what we've done together. Guys, it's really, really good to be back in the Melbourne CBD after eight months of lockdown. But as you all know, that Victoria was one of the states in Australia that was the hardest hit due to COVID-19. And we had very harsh restrictions. We had social distancing, we had to wear masks, we had the borders closed on us. We had very tough restrictions, but it was absolutely necessary because 90% of the cases and deaths caused, caused due to COVID was from Victoria. But look, it worked because we are here after 112 days of restrictions and staying indoors and not seeing our friends and families. It was really tough, but look where we are now. We are back in the beautiful city enjoying life pre-lockdown and pre-COVID. And we are all appreciating the every small and little things in life because we miss that after months and months of hard work by the government and the people we have 14 steady days with zero cases all over australia and we did that we did that victoria we did that together and in today's episode i'm just going to show you what we've been missing in the past eight months we are back in the crowd we are in the city i'm going to take public transport after eight months I'm gonna go into the market. I'm gonna show you how, when you look at the crowd, it's not gonna, it's not gonna feel like there was a pandemic. And there is still a pandemic, mind you. We still have to be careful. We still have to follow the rules and guidelines to make sure that we don't have a third wave, God forbid. <laughs> but we have to do that. But in the meantime, we've done enough to enjoy this little bit of freedom. And let's go and enjoy that. All right, guys, so we are on our way to Queen Victoria Market, which is one of the biggest markets in the Melbourne CBD. If you want to get there, you get off at Flinders and then you take a tram, should take you there in less than 10 minutes. The reason I'm going to go to Queen Victoria Market is the market includes local um, stall holders who have very small businesses which were greatly impacted by COVID 19. So it's our responsibility to help them build back up let's go there to be honest public transport wasn't my favorite thing before lockdown but right now sitting in the tram and just looking outside to Melbourne city I feel good I miss this so much and I'm sure many of you have missed this too the crowd the people this the tram itself the sound of the tram is everything that we you know, haven't had for the past few months I mean with the restrictions there was a stage where you can go within five kilometers but if you were like me and who didn't stay within the 5k we couldn't come to the city and then it was moved to 25k i still couldn't come to the city but now we've done this together we can travel anywhere we want without restrictions 
and we're making the most out of it now. All right guys, I'm at the Queen Victoria Market stop. I got off the tram. If you don't know how to get here, there is an app on the phone, it's PTV, it's free, it's public transport of Victoria. You just put in where you're starting and where you want to go to, it will definitely show all the steps to take you there. Queen Victoria Market is one of the oldest markets in Melbourne and after many, many years of running, it was finally shut down for a couple of months due to COVID-19. And this market is very special because it has very fresh produce and they're very authentic and they're Australian owned and made. So we're here today to help support these business owners when they were struggling through the tough times of the COVID-19 lockdown. We actually did take a full episode exclusively for Queen Victoria Market. It's on the M4 Live app, which is available on iOS, Android TV and Play Store. Guys, we're at the Queen Victoria Market. We're about to enter. Even though everything may seem back to normal, we still have to remember a few things to ensure safety is at its first. We have to make sure we still maintain the social distancing, which is 1.5 meters. Make sure you wear your mask, which I'm about to um, as I'm entering. Also, try to bring your own bags to carry the produce. And also, if you're going to grab some fresh produce, minimize touching them. And also, it's always encouraged to pay by card. That's it. Let's go shopping. I've got my snacks ready from the Queen Victoria Market. I've got my coffee and I've got Borek. Coffee, this is a well-known fact that if you're from Melbourne, you have a special relationship with coffee. Let's see. Oh my gosh. Coffee literally changes your life. And I've got Borek, which is pastry and with meat or I've got, I've got meat, which is, um, I've got beef. And I've got another one, which is the spinach and cheese. It's filled with stuff, stuffings, and then that one's meat. I wanted to try both. I just wanted to see um, which one's better. Let's give it a try. Oh my God. It's so good. The pastry is so fresh, so crispy. It's so freshly baked, you can tell. Oh, I've got some friends here. He looks like a bear. <laughs> and you know what's a funny thing? I'm sitting still in the middle of the city. I'm sitting in Flagstaff Gardens where I'm surrounded by really, really tall buildings. It's still the CBD. It's still in the middle of the Melbourne city where um, you get so many businesses and traffic and then there is still a space for you can where you can enjoy <laughs> hello someone's here to say hi hi hello hey so beautiful <laughs> special appearance <laughs> How lucky are we right to have this kind of experience so we went from the middle of the city from the federation square then we got a tram we went to queen victoria market where it's super crazy busy and then literally we walked we walked nine minutes to this beautiful space still in the middle of the city enjoying this beautiful view there is no noise even though it's heavy traffic around 
in this particular space it's so quiet and so peaceful and people are exercising people are relaxing just loving life right now <laughs> the weather is so beautiful It really makes you appreciate uh, what we have done as, as a group, as a family to eliminate this coronavirus because not many parts of the world can enjoy this just yet. So we've done such a beautiful job to get where we are right now. Just coming into the city makes you also realize how many people were actually impacted by this whole thing and how many people were actually looking towards this sort of freedom that we're getting right now so i'm just going to enjoy my little breakfast with coffee in the beautiful melbourne city guys so we had a pretty eventful day today started the day of federation square took a tram to queen victoria market we had our breakfast at the very peaceful flagstaff gardens and we saw very beautiful sights on the way and now we're back on the tram we're gonna find a spot to have a bit of beer i mean victorians love a glass of beer and the way, best way to celebrate coming out of lockdown would be to enjoy at the bar that's how we would end, end this episode today so let's take you there to the next point all right guys we had a very eventful day today we started at the federation square we went on a tram went to queen victoria market grabbed our food had a rest in the Flagstaff Gardens and then we roamed around. We really made use of that little taste of freedom we've got so far. And now we're gonna end today's episode with a bit of beer and then food. This is the freedom that we fought for. We did this together and we finally have it. We still have a long way to go, but then we're almost there. Until next time, signing off, Lynette from Life in Australia.